Today we have a story on Manning's retirement and an industrial investigation. I'm Jessica. I'm Allie, and this is your daily announcements. We are making stories by teens for teens, creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. The 2021 Euro trip will be in Rome, Florence, and Assisi. There will be an informational meeting for anybody interested tonight at 6.30 in E4. Show choir auditions start Thursday. Clinics will be held today and tomorrow from 3.30 to 5.30 to help with preparation. An extra clinic will also take place during seminar. The last day to enroll in driver's ed will be May 7th. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Tinsley. Starting May 6th, FCCLA will be selling burritos, one for $2 or a dozen for $20. Contact Ms. Jones if you would like to order. Next Saturday, Cotton O'Neill, Kansa Park is doing $20 sports physicals from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you are interested, stop by the athletics department and pick up a flyer. The SHS players are having auditions for next school year. See Diva to pick up an audition form. Manning is retiring at the end of this year. We went to go learn more about it. Miss Manning is retiring after the end of this year. I've taught here for 23 years. I've taught for 34 years, which means I've been here longer than any of you have been alive. She taught many math classes. This year I teach math 2A and AP Calculus. Uh, during the time I have taught here, I have taught everything. Um, from the sophomore, junior, and senior level. I love teaching here because it's like a, a small community. I get to know students and then I have their younger brothers or sisters. Um, I run into them when I'm at the grocery store, when I go out to eat. Uh, it's like teaching in a small town with all the benefits of being in a big town. She will be missed by many. I don't know, there's a lot that I could say about her. She's been like a, a mother, <laughs> a father, uh, an instructor, a best friend. She's, she's helped me in a, lot, in a lot of ways that she couldn't understand. Um, even though I'm graduating, I'm leaving with her, uh, I really hope that I still keep the connection that we have throughout the rest of my life. Um, I wish I had her sooner because honestly, she's the best teacher I could ever had for math. She helped me with so many things. I was failing. I got a D for my final grade in math my sophomore year. It was bad. And she really helped me. She, she really is a great teacher. And I don't know if I would be passing math right now if it wasn't for her help. She's made many memories teaching here at Seaman. Uh, she did tell me one time, though, that she would never, ever, like, get you out of jail. So if you're in jail, she said, sucks to be you because she's not bailing you out. Um, and she said for the first time in, in all years of teaching, she actually got a call um, uh, asking if someone would, uh, would, if she would bail them out. And she said, no, sorry, I can't help you. Hers are one policy about anything. And I just love that, that she's willing to help with anything else but that specific thing. It's really hard to come up with a favorite memory because I have lots of great memories. I, I love working with my students. I'm going to miss them a lot when I'm gone. And um, just every day is a new adventure and um, lots of great relationships with my students. And that's what I'm going to miss most when I leave. And I'm also going to miss my awesome math department that I get to work with every week. Say goodbye to Manning before she leaves. Now over to Allie with sports after this quick commercial break. I'm gonna have to hear you sing. Can, can you just trust that I'm a really good singer? Just one song. Okay, all right. I just, I just need to do it, I just need to do it, okay? <sighs> oh my God, my heart's beating so fast. Party la la rain this way la Okay. I don't, I don't know. This isn't the right acoustic uh, environment. I'm, I've, I've had a sore throat for like a month and a half now. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's just my best I can do. Jacob, you gotta know, I'm not just some guy. 
you have the voice of an angel. It's like Jesus and Fergie combined together. Have you ever thought about joining show choir? Show choir tryouts are this week. Clinics are on Tuesday and Wednesday. But can you dance? Mr. Elliot is training and preparing to run with the Bulls. Run, Coach Elliot, run! If you want an official Mr. Elliot Run with the Bulls t-shirt, order yours at lunch. The cost is $15. All proceeds go to the wrestling team. Tomorrow at 10, Trey Duffy will be signing to Kansas Wesleyan for basketball. Following at 10.30, Madison Deese will be signing to Washburn for cheer. Make sure and wish them congrats. This week, tennis took third at Centennial League. Great job, guys. Swim has a meet tonight at the Natatorium. Come out and support your bikes. Now over to Josh with the weather. Good afternoon to you. Isn't this weather pattern just fascinating? We've had rainfall three days in a row, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, all adding up to an inch and two-thirds so far. We'll probably try to get close to two inches by the end of today. There's a slight risk for severe weather for areas near and southeast of the Kansas Turnpike. Here's how it plays out on radar by 3 o'clock. Some scattered showers in the area. Thunderstorms by 6 p.m. Some of those could be strong to severe. And then just some lingering showers later this evening. In terms of severe weather, here's what we're looking at. A very low chance for a tornado, but high wind, large hail, and excessive rainfall are all possible, which could lead to some localized flash flooding. So be on the lookout for that later on today. We catch a break tomorrow, but tomorrow night, shower and thunderstorm chances return across the state. Some of those could be strong, but the severe weather potential is a lot lower for your Wednesday. And checking out the seven day forecast, you can see that highs jump into the 80s or the 70s rather for the upcoming weekend. Allie and Jessica, back to you. Thanks, Josh. The Urban Explorers are back, this time with an industrial investigation. They went to go check out the governor's mansion. What's up, guys? It's Elias here, and today we're going to be dropping on the governor's mansion. You know, a lot of people say there aren't many places to explore in Topeka, which is why Chase and I have set out to explore as many locations as possible this semester. Oh no, we lost our duct tape. Can you find the duct tape? Muy bien, good job. Hey girl. You know what type of dating app a tree uses? <laughs> Timber. Yeah, so I was talking to this fine orange tree, right? And then I told her this great joke, and she was like, I don't find you appealing. Did you hear that? No, you didn't. Because when a tree falls and no one's around, there is no sound to be heard. I think it's the hat. <laughs> wow, those are some interesting guys. Next time they will be back with the business bogey. In tomorrow's show we have a teacher dance off. Have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.